April Fools or something. I don't know, but this isn't Battle Cats 2. It's more like Battle Cats Rebalance, based off an anime and featuring Ponos copying themselves. The light switch is something I found out a bit before recording because I was preparing for this episode. And it's so creepy, by the way. And when I turned it off, you just see eyes. And also, it takes away a few features. The full name of this game is pretty chunky, pretty fat. So I'll call it Katara like everyone else hiding within the Valcats community. Maybe, I don't know exactly, but I already tried to make an episode on this, and I just felt like the commentary and such were unbearable, which means when I got to editing it, I would have made myself die inside out, so I scrapped it. In that episode, however, I did do an 11 draw on this new dojo uber, uh, this griffin banner over here, with a boosted chance and got an uber re released a year ago. Aladdin, this guy right here, which is the BC equivalent of Cats in the Cradle with pretty long range, however. Enemies and allies ranges, by the way, all the important stats of units are displayed so cleanly. Just look at them all, every single one of them. They're so nice, right? Including every enemy and all their magnifications, which is very convenient feature to have in a game so strategic about having good stats and stuff. The treasures are similar to BC treasures in the grinding part too. The range I have been told when translated to battle cats it would be only 3 over 4 if we keep comparing to battle cats. This game spams so much gems, in fact I think it goes above and beyond to give way more ubers overall compared to battle cats, even though it has a lower chance on average to pull an uber from the rare capsule rock thing that animation in here but i have only played this game for about a week and a half so take info with a grain of salt i don't know enough about this game yet i'm in love with it already all this beautifully colored goodness and extra features like the pokemon go-ish thingy that reveals your location so you can easily dock yourself. Isn't that so perfect? Well, I found it pretty useful and damn it sure spams rewards quite a bit too. From regular cat tickets, which I have 48 of right now for a reason I will tell you later, to gems and other currency to get even more rewards. And in case you haven't guessed perfectly yet, these up arrows are XP, which are so so easy to get. At least in this dojo event, by the way, which also gives more rewards than Battle Cats Dojo. If you get points, and if all players get to some dojo points, goals, just crazy rewards everywhere. Look at all these. You just get so many points, you get so many rewards, and all these have been claimed, actually. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, people got to that goal. So I'll show you this dojo level, which actually gives a lot of XP and requires this purple item that the game spams in my face too, so that's why I have so much XP. There's a thing on top as well. That's moon power. It's basically like Cat God, except it's reusable and doesn't really cost you anything other than like, it's like if he had another energy. And basically, you do the stage, it, it times you. Ooh, I got a new record. That's good. Well, thanks for that reward. That, I think, replenishes energy. And we can just farm this over and over and over and get so much more XP. I didn't exactly see how much XP I got there because I wasn't paying attention. Anyways. See, then you can come over here, collect your points and rewards from the points, actually, not collecting your points. And then, guess what? You get so much more rewards. Firstly, you get that thing, that purple thing, and you get another one, also the ticket as well, and even more XP. So, we're gonna spend some XP now. And yeah, I kind of set this up a little. We're gonna upgrade this all the way to level 20, which will give, an, give us enough user rank. And that's, you know, exactly 600 user rank, which gives us these scrolls, which is basically the cat 
fruit equivalent in Battle Cats. And you know what that means. That means evolutions and true forms. In this game, it works a bit different. Evolution to the second form actually does require cat fruit. And guess what? This guy, this very OP Uber by the way, everyone knows how cats in the cradle works. And if you give it extra range, that's kind of crazy. These, yeah, look at them. They're just exactly like cat fruits, exactly how they work, right? You merge these, you get one of these, boom, you get a fat scroll, unlike these thin scrolls over here, and three brown fat scrolls is enough to get my Uber, my very perhaps OP Uber, to second form. This animation is very nice, by the way, too. Look at him. He's got the girl now, or something. Uh, looks, looks a little bit like the bird. We're gonna test him out today. And yeah, look at all these other stuff. It's just like Battle Cats, honestly. So much like it. Except just a lot of things are better as well, you know? And also this energy system. This is why I didn't want to spend all my tickets at once. Just spend them all away. Because I can use it to actually abuse energy refilling. Every time you upgrade this energy, maximum energy, you completely get all your energy back. And since I don't have all the time in the world, I just kind of save it up. And I don't usually use up all my energy since all these levels are too easy for me. And yeah, also when you evolve your units it also gives you gems so more gems everywhere isn't that crazy there's so many ubers already most of them don't have true forms yet um the lower ones over here starting from this guy they're actually just special cats but if you look over here uh there's a wave attack yeah level four wave attack but it has a level 50 chance what did I just say? 50% chance! And the attack animation, look at this. There's a genie that pops out and smacks the floor just like Cats in the Cradle. Like, exactly perfectly. And there's also these things. They're kind of like talents, but you get them when you get your dupe ubers, right? You need three dupes for it to get 100% wave. You, you, you need one dupe for this, I think, maybe weakened ability? I'm not exactly sure. But to get dupes, it's not exactly as hard because there's uh, potions. There's potions for traits. And by traits, I mean ubers and other rarities. That basically just gives you a plus level. I mean, look over here. It needs 10 uh, uber potions. So you can get one plus level. And I guess if I get 30, unless it increases, which would be kind of scary and annoying, I just, I would need 30 and I could get 100% wave. And that would be just pure OP, right? But according to everyone else who's played this game a lot already, there's one Uber that's very, very, very OP and shifts this game from unbalanced to workable, maybe. And I have saved this last stage of Empire of Cats equivalent, Empire of Cats chapter one, that is. And you get a rare ticket. And also there's so many, like, I guess new traits kind of? But they're similar, and they have abilities that are similar to each other as well. One of the best things about this game is that you do not lose any energy if you lose. And also, whoa, that's a cool background. I haven't seen this. The rain, I had a glimpse of. But the background and the tower over there, nah. -uh. So... I think I brought the li wrong lineup, and I could just easily quit even if it's after 10 seconds, you know? And I can just go change or whatever. Another thing is that the enemies, they actually drop the treasures instead of after you defeat the 
base. One of the things that I don't like is the lineup changing. It's not like Battle Cats and I'm not used to it. Oh, anyways. Let's go inside with the actual correct lineup. I guess I'll introduce you to some of these units over here. So, almost all of the top row is normal cats or units actually. And there's this girl, she's pretty OP for chapter one, I guess. Look at her, she's just going in front, running so fast, taking everyone out. There's this tree stump kind of trait. Wow, that attack was pretty nice. <laughs> oh, a boss. This. Oh, I've seen this guy before, but he was not in this trait or like color. You can use this cannon to knock everyone back. Can summon another Uber? Wait, what? There's another boss. Oh, jeez, that's huge. Big old skeleton right there. We can put on the. We can put on this CPU, which will do all this work for us, and it's just so good. And there's also this speed up. Hey, look, treasure. In this game. Whoa. This boss is way harder. Wow, that wave attack went really fast. Oh, I barely saw it. Yeah, this game, whoa. This boss, whoa. Everything, whoa. Yeah, treasure, kind of stinky. I'm a leave. You know why? Because when you get the treasures, it's so, so hard to get the higher tier treasures because it, I think it lowers the chances which is really stinky, so I'm gonna get out of here and try to get the treasure on the first try. I've just experienced the boss, by the way. The boss is really easy, but everyone says after this or maybe starting in chapter three, everything goes crazy. You know what? I think I'll show you what the moon power or god thingy on top does, right? Watch this, everyone. Just, it's, I don't know, I think I showed it really badly. Everyone but my other Uber in this minecart over here, if you can see that, is in their evolved form or second form. Ooh, credits that I can never read unless I use some translation thing. <laughs> oh, the music is different, I can hear. But other than that, oh, a lot more things to translate, I guess. Uh-huh. Huh. Well, it's just one message. Well, isn't that great? We get this reward. 500. Uh-huh. Everything good. I think I'll go grind that later. And we can check out this new cat we got, or unit. Oh, I keep on saying cat. This unit is LD, but the LD is really small and has a low range already. Ooh, it gets way better though. Uh-huh. There, I think that's like a combo-ish boost. Anti-3 traits? Hmm. This, my, this guy, this, this feminine looking character over here uh, might be good later. When it gets true for maybe? Well, honestly, I have no idea. But that stage did give us a rare ticket, which is another chance to get Griffin. I've been trying to get Griffin so much. I've been rolling so, so, so many tickets, and this animation is epic, by the way. Come on. No! <laughs> rare. Really? <sighs> Giraffe neck lady. It doesn't even have a true form. All these other gotchas just doesn't have the boosted crazy good uberish thing, you know? This is a crazy amount of ubers, which is not cool. This I might roll on it later.
But not today. Not now. I guess I can check out chapter 2 now. Yeah, it's everything all over again. Maybe with like more enemies. Yeah, harder enemies. That's for sure. And I think 51 treasure instead of 50 treasure? My tone was really weird. Oh, gee. Yeah. One more treasure. There's also all these event stages. The top one is the dojo. This is candy farming. Well, you, I, you can only do this stage daily. It's not exactly farming. It's kind of like cyber face or facing danger, but you can only do it daily instead of, I think, three days and a half for facing danger. This is also a daily bonus, actually. This should have been like in a farming stage, but once a time, every day comes along, lets you do that. And all the normal units or cats, oh, not cats, not cats, normal units have this stage where, you know, you can get them to evolve to second form. And it kind of acts like a true form in Battle Cats. And also, I, I don't think I've ever really used this unit before, like this wall unit. Ever. And also this stage should be like really really easy because I just beat every other stage really really easy. Maybe it's a metal unit though. It's a giant wall. And it didn't get crushed by Aladdin easy peasy. So I'm kind of confused. Maybe it's supposed to be a little hard? Or it's, mm, it's not doing much damage against all these meat shields and crazy stuff. That's for sure. This, this stack of mold thing right here is kind of like a racer, but with more knockbacks. Now we have that evolution done. We have enough gold coins to come over here and buy these tickets, these rare tickets, or just one of them for, for now. I desperately want Griffin, but I won't spend my gems on it because that's just simple bad idea, honestly. I still, ooh, wow, this unit is new, but it's not Griffin. And maybe it doesn't have a true form either. <sighs> Griffin has a boosted chance, and you have no idea how many tickets I spent off screen trying to just roll this gacha over and over and over to be a griffin. But then I get this guy now, which is knocking back a common trait so far. Like, I don't know, is this unit really gonna be good at all? I just have no idea. For most of these units, I can't judge if they're good or not. These are a whole bunch of enemies that I've seen before, by the way. I guess you guys can check them out if you haven't seen them yet or want to know what I've been dealing with these past few days. Maybe I'll upgrade this character unit. Well, huh, it does have an attack, attack cooldown decrease. But the recharge time over here is kind of ridiculous and, and I don't think that works. So let's check out chapter 2 for a second. Maybe there's some crazy change I'm not aware of. Or just pure enemy power boost. Yeah, classic music. Oh, jeez. Fast enemies. You can take that off. Mm hmm Yeah. First level is guaranteed to be easy, right? Almost, maybe? Ooh, there we go. Win. Yeah, what else did I expect? Now I have 50 regular tickets and a whole bunch of them to spend. Well, that's it for today. So, ooh, 30 gems. That's cool. 